One way to describe sled hockey is putting disabilities on ice. These athletes navigate around the rink on a sled with a pair of hockey blades mounted underneath. They propel themselves with picks on the end of the stick, or in the case of goalies, on their gloves. Just their daily lives are challenging uh, more than, than a normal person would be, so I think that they relish in the fact of taking on something difficult and doing the best that they can. Uh, and they're used to it. They have to overcome it every day in every way. So getting out and playing hockey um, and overcoming those challenges is no different than anything else that they've done in their life. Our own Randy Moeller and former Panther Bill Lindsay got an idea of just how much effort goes into the sport. You find yourself off balance all the time and to be able to move as quick as these athletes is very, very difficult. And it must take hours and hours to become acclimated on the ice. And also too, it's still a physical sport. Uh, the most difficult part probably was learning how to handle the puck and use the sled at the same time. It's difficult, really test your upper body strength, your core everywhere and you get a new respect for these athletes. They're pretty good. So I think pretty much everything was hard for me to start. One element of sled hockey is the increasing presence of veterans and returning wounded warriors. But every athlete here has their own unique story. The one thing that is clear, however, is their love and passion for the game of hockey. Oh, don't get caught behind your net. Don't follow them behind the net. There's no point. Cut them off at the post. All right. In sled hockey, checking is allowed and many of the strategies are the same as regular hockey. One big difference is the players use two sticks. If someone were to play sled hockey and then to go back to stand up, I think it'd be better because now they're used to, to doing both left and right and it kind of just opens up different angles. Um, but yeah, everything's the same. Uh, the, so if some teams that do systems, it's all the same exact system, the same priorities. Uh, and it's still just five on five. As competitive as they are, winning and losing counts to these athletes. But maybe more importantly is how they feel about themselves. I, I love hockey. It's, it just, it's always been my favorite sport. It's, 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 it's freedom on the ice. I mean, I felt like uh, after being away from sports for so long, it's like getting, independent, getting your independence back. Um, you know, just being around the guys, the camaraderie with your, your teammates. Um, I love it. I, 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 I hate when I'm not on the ice and I, I feel at home when I'm on the ice. It's definitely, it's enriched my life and um, I've been able to get back into sports. Um, I got paralyzed in a skiing accident, so it was really important for me to uh, get back into sports and I love being part of a team. 18-year-old Declan Farmer played on the Panthers team in this tournament. He's from Tampa and is a member of the U.S. national team. I was born without legs, so I've been using prosthetics since I was like one or so. I've always been really competitive and it was frustrating because I played um, like able body sports like soccer and stuff before I found sled hockey and sled hockey was just a great way for me to like, you know, be competitive, be a part of team, etc. You know, I've met so many people through sled hockey. Some of my best friends are teammates of mine and uh, got to travel the world. You know, it's just been a great experience.